Hey, this is Kyle at Crave Automotive, and today I'm super excited to show you the KR Pro. We have chose a 2020 Toyota Tacoma with a double cab. They call it the short bed model. It's an automatic, and it's the TRD off-road. Toyota gave us an amazing foundation to build this sweet truck off of. Let's dive into the upgrades that we put on to make it a pro. Let's start at the front of the truck. We worked with Addictive Desert Designs to get a nice front bumper that's gonna hold a winch for us for some self-recovery, and it's gonna give us a lot better approach angle for the front, so much better clearance, and then also some recovery. That recovery is a Smittybilt 10,000 pound winch. We upgraded with a synthetic rope, we love this uh, X2O series as it comes with the wireless remote function. While we're talking about that winch, we have a Factor 55 Haas Fairlead and a Factor 55 Flatlink Expert. These are two great accessories that can go and complement this winch really well. Our front bumper is allowing us to put some lighting upgrade on this truck. We worked with Baja Designs for some sweet products here. The Onyx 6 light bar, it's a 30 inch single row in this bumper, is putting over 30,000 lumens of light. This thing was lighting up the day when I tried it on, uh, tried it on today. In the uh, fog light department, we've worked with the Baja Designs and they've come with this really cool new product called SAE or SAE compliant. So we have a street legal fog light where the light bar of course is off-road use only. This is an amber lens because we want to focus on the use into foul weather conditions, snowy, foggy, dusty situations. So we went with an amber lens and then we also put a wide uh, lens on there to get that, uh, that light dispersed out into the ditches. While talking about lights, we used, uh, worked with CBI Off-Road and installed a set of their ditch light brackets. Uh, that's giving us the opportunity to mount uh, Baja Design's brand new S1 series. This is a really cool new light that uses a single LED that's emitting over 2,500 lumens. Just to give you an idea, single LED 2,500 lumens, SAE compliant light, 2,500 lumens. Uh, pretty awesome technology out of that guy. We like the smaller size because it reduces the uh, blockage or the visibility that a ditch light bracket can give you uh, there. Right beside those ditch light brackets is a safari snorkel. So this is a fresh air intake and then also going to help you with dusty situations and if you're going into that river or you're going into that water crossing and just don't know how deep it is, just, this is going to give you a little bit better fording depths there for crossing those water bodies. In the front end of this truck we also installed a front skid plate by Element. This is a Canadian company. We went with an aluminum skid plate in bare aluminum as skid plates commonly get scratched against those rocks they're protecting you from. So why worry about the powder coat? Let's save some money, invest it into that aluminum. Let's save some weight on this truck. Element offers us two skid plate options, Overland series and Moab series. We've opted for the Moab series, which is going to get extra reinforcement put into that skid plate. That skid plate is uh, protecting some pretty cool stuff hiding in that front and rear differential. We worked with Nitro gears and installed a set of 529 gears. That's really going to help us with these larger 35 inch tires, keeping them turning really nicely, making that six gear fully usable. And also we have a truck with the roof rack. Speaking of which, a beautiful roof rack by Prinzi Designs, a nice aluminum rack that's powder coated black. We also have a tree line tent out back. That's all going to increase the wind drag of this truck. So those gears are helping us with the oversized tires and the extra weight and the extra wind drag that we have onto this truck. While we were in that front differential installing those 529 gears, we removed the Toyota needle bearing and upgraded it to a, a clamshell bushing, upgrade by East Coast Gear Supplies to eliminate any chance for vibrations in that two-wheel, four-wheel drive area between 30 and 50 kilometers per hour. Let's take a look under this hood and see what we have. Something that I think should be here from factory, hood struts. We've got a nice set of uh, hood struts on this guy. Also, we've got this light winch We've got this lighting. We needed some battery to help, uh, battery power to help support this truck. We've worked with Northstar and we have a Group 31M battery, a factory Group 24F. Going to a 31, we essentially have doubled the capacity of this battery. We've also upgraded to an AGM absorbent glass mat, uh, glass mat uh, battery. What this is going to do is going to help us with things like vibrations. Driving on rough roads is very tough on a lead acid battery. An AGM battery is 28 times more vibration resistant. So we're going to give better life under operations of trucks under the, on rough roads. We also have a AGM battery that's going to charge quicker off of our alternator. And of course it's kind of built like a deep cycle battery. So we have the ability to have these lights running without the truck running and be able to sustain a longer, uh, usage of that battery and also we are going to be able to 
keep that battery healthy with the cycling of the battery up and down into its power uh, cycles there. So we have some nice 529 gears to help us turn these beautiful 35 inch tires. We're running the Yokohama G003. This is a beautiful mud train tire that they have developed. They set a 35 1250R17s. To get these tires on this truck, we worked with SCS wheels. They have a brand new wheel called the BR6. We went with their 17 by nine inches wide. This has got a negative 38 offset. This is gonna give us three and a half inches of backspace. This is really beautiful wide stance. With that wider stance, the tires were sticking outside of the wheel well. We worked with Bushwhacker and we worked with them and their pocket style flares. They've given us an extra inch of wheel well coverage so we could keep those tires within the wheel well. The suspension that we have chosen on this truck build is from Elka. Elka has developed a 2.5 inch shock body with a remote reservoir system. With those minus 38 wheels pushing our tires outside of that wheel well, we were able to fit and get a lot more clearance for those remote reservoirs. We went with the dual speed compression adjusters. This has given us an ability to do a high speed and a low speed compression adjustment for the speed or the weight that we're carrying with this truck. We have approximately three inches of lift in the front of this truck and some custom modifications to the wheel wells to clear those 35s. In the rear, we have approximately two inches of lift. We worked with Old Man Emu and have a set of their Dakar leaf springs in the back because we are carrying a beautiful tree line rooftop tent, an RCI bed rack, some traction devices from Max Tracks, and some roto packs or fuel cans there. Because of that extra weight, we wanted to beef up that rear suspension on this uh, truck build. The 2020 Tacoma did get some pretty sweet upgrades in the interior, and one of them is something that we're really proud of. We worked with a company called Switch Pros, which has made a 9100 series eight switch control unit. On that control unit, we have been able to control those beautiful lights we talked about. And in the back, we've also installed a Blue Sea Below Deck panel. We put this in the back right beside that factory 120 volt, uh, 20 watt uh, power outlet that you have there, integrated into the box panel. This is for our customers that want to charge a fridge or power a fridge, charge their cameras, their GoPros, their uh, tablets while they're out camping. And we're gonna control all of that through the Switch Pro unit, which also works by Bluetooth on our phones. They have the nicest unit that we have available on the market. And just a few items that are not seen visibly on the truck. On the rear differential, we've installed a Crave built uh, diff breather mod, taking that breather from right on the differential, moving it up beside the filler, fuel filler neck. Drive shaft has been dropped by Old Man Emu with the carrier bearing drop, and front differential has been dropped by a, a differential drop to help keep those driveline angles as true as possible as stock trucks have. We have some beautiful energy bump stops in the front and some Timberins out in the back. Thank you for Timberin for making a U-Bolt flip kit that works well with your bump stops. It looks super clean and it also helps with ground clearance.